While downtown Greenville has grown and evolved, a nearby neighborhood has not seen much change. The city is now working to renovate the area, but they want the changes to be driven by the people who live there. Our Chloe Salsameda has more on the plans. The Green Line Spartanburg neighborhood is a historic area of Greenville. The city is now working to upgrade the area while maintaining the character of the neighborhood. The Green Line Spartanburg neighborhood sits just outside of downtown Greenville. On Tuesday night, designers laid out ideas for how the area can be revamped. All these houses have no driveways. A design team has been meeting with people who live in the neighborhood since the beginning of the year to learn what changes they want to see made in their community. The ideas will eventually be added to a master plan for the neighborhood. Residents ask for walking trails and sidewalks to be built, flooding issues to be fixed, parking to be added, and aging roads to be repaved. We know the infrastructure has been poorly managed. We get that. We wanted to make sure that we may start with the basics, right? Bring up certain roads, certain core element roads, your backbone of your community, core roads, highlighted yellow here, bring, just bring them up to city state. One of the biggest requests was for more affordable housing to be created. We are in such close proximity to downtown that there is this fear, right, that, you know, not only gentrification is going to happen, but also the prices are going to be out of people's reach. No net loss of affordable housing units is going to be our primary goal and hopefully it is an increase in affordable housing units. Elaine and Theo Nagelmakers have owned an affordable home in the neighborhood for six years. They hope the city can create more housing for their neighbors. I'd like them also to have the same opportunity despite costs rising. So I think it's very important. So I very much support all the effort to have more affordable housing in the city. The design team says they plan to present a final master plan to city council in the fall. City council would then need to approve that in order for the plan to be adopted. In Greenville, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News. If you missed tonight's meeting, there will be another meeting tomorrow at 530 at the David Hellams Community Center.